what is up lads this is going to be the warlock bis talents and runes guide and once again i'm going to try and keep this nice and short for you we're going to start out with the bis list this is going to be the gear that is going to be from what we can see the best for pvp at level 25 until some more gear becomes available from bfd we don't know everything that's coming out yet so that's the reason for some of the eagle items we're mostly going to be focusing on getting good stamina and some intellect so we're going to start out with a lucky fishing hat spectral necklace of the eagle sage's mantle of the eagle cutthroat's cape of the eagle and then the clam weave tunic from bfd durable braces of the eagle crescent staff rain caller mitts of the eagle gamura's cinch watch's leggings of the eagle extra plane of spider silk boots seal of sylvanas no, the stamina on it's just really nice even though it's got strength on it planes ring again really nice stamina but quite rare you can go for an eagle ring here if you can't get it arena grandmaster and insignia of the horde with the dancing flame wand for talents for warlock at 25 we're going to be looking at both destro and affliction starting out with destro we're going to be running 5 out of 5 Imp Corruption to make it instant. Then we're going to be running 5 out of 5 Imp Shadow Bolt, 5 out of 5 Bane, and 1 out of 1 Shadow Burn. For the runes, we're going to be running Demonic Tactics, but there's definitely an option to run Lake of Fire as well, potentially. We're going to be running Incinerate on the Leg Rune, and then we're going to be running Metamorphosis on the Hand Rune. This is going to make us a lot tankier overall, and make Searing Pain instant. It's going to make your Shadow Bolt into a melee Shadow Cleave, but it can still proc improved Shadow Bolt which means your shadow spells are going to do more damage, so corruption and agony. This can also be substituted for chaos bolt if you are feeling like playing more aggressively and you don't think you need the tankiness of meta. You're also going to have the potential to play affliction at level 25, and while I feel it's slightly weaker than Destro, it's still going to be decent due to how strong meta looks like it's going to be. We're going to take 1 out of 5 suppression, assuming that we're going to get the last 1% hit from the boots. We're going Imp Corruption, 2 out of 2 Imp Life Tap, 2 out of 5 Imp Drain Life to get us to the next tier, Improve Curse of Agony, and then Amplify Curse. And then we're going to put the last 2 points in Demonic Embrace to make us a bit tanky with that extra stamina. For the runes, we're going to run Master Channeler to make our Drain Life instant as a dot. Then on the Leg Rune, we're going to run Incinerate, the Everlasting Affliction talent not looking that strong, but if you don't want to play with Incinerate, you can use that as well. And then for the Hand Rune, if you want to be tankier, you're going to run Meta. If you want to play more aggro, you can run Haunt or even Chaos Bolt. 